The Children of God Orphanage in Okai, Haiti, provides a safe and loving home for 28 children. Most of the children first arrive scared, starving and sick, with nowhere to go and no one to turn to. Marlene Baker, a native of Okai, living in the USA, opened her heart and a house she rented to welcome 11 homeless children in 2006. After the earthquake and the cholera outbreak in 2010, Marlene found every morning on her doorstep another new orphan sleeping. As it was impossible for her to turn them away, 17 more little children came to her asking for rescue. She had to rent a bigger house to welcome all of the 28 kids and the four caretakers living there permanently as well. <laughs> Marlene Baker hired four women who are strongly involved in the children's life. They also actively participate in the cooking process as it is one of their main activities. Most of the children had no education and were severely unhealthy and malnourished when they came to the orphanage. Cooking, cleaning, washing, bathing. The nannies are making the household run on a daily basis. Every day, the girls sit and wait for their turn to have their hair done by the patient and meticulous nanny. One by one, they sit during several hours and create their own outdoor salon. This is Marlene Baker. She visits the orphanage during every school holiday. She's the glue of the orphanage, as she's still the only financial provider of the children of God. Those images were shot during school holidays, and in those times, some people of the Okai community are actively participating in the children's activities. Playing, singing, sometimes just visiting and being present. These two men are Paul and Pouchon. They are the custodian and driver of the orphanage. They are looking after the children's safety and supplying the place in groceries. And finally, this is Brother Kade. He is one of the pastors of Okai. He preaches each Sunday at l'Unité des Frères and spreads a positive message for the whole community. As it would cost too much money to take the children out to the church, Brother Kade takes the time to visit four orphanages and give them a religious education.
Those children, as you can see, have a permanent smile upon their faces. Not because they have an easy way of life, but because they are truly brave and thankful. Okay. What you might not see in those images, and what can be so easy to ignore, is that beyond the smiles and the laughter, there is not enough medication, no electricity, not enough clothes, no books available for their school education. And when it's time for recreation, a single plastic doll to share. Je m'appelle Alexandre Neftali, j'ai 13 ans. Je m'appelle Alcide Judeline, j'ai 14 ans. Moi, je m'appelle Alcide Medina, j'ai 12 ans. Je m'appelle Neftali, j'ai 14 ans. Moi, je m'appelle Stéphane François, j'ai 13 ans. Moi, c'est Stéphane, j'ai 11 ans. Moi, je m'appelle Gilanda et j'ai 10 ans. Je m'appelle Joradi Morassi, j'ai 11 ans. Je m'appelle Vincent, 15 ans. Moi, je m'appelle Dorothy, j'ai 4 ans. Je m'appelle Vincent, j'ai 15 ans. It is time to act. They need you. The children of God need you. 